espresso system, a masterpiece in taste. Hey guys, what's up? So in today's video, we dive in behind the scenes of that awesome spec commercial I just showed you at the start. So get ready for an exclusive peek at the shot breakdown. Now I'm also super excited to demonstrate how motion control is totally changing the game in my commercial productions. Quick disclaimer though. So this project was not commissioned by the manufacturer of the coffee machine. The backstory to that is that I bought it for the studio a few months ago and was inspired to create a product commercial because it's a pretty product. I was quite busy at the time, so it took me a while to get around to it. And that meant I had to drink crap coffee in the meantime, because I didn't want to use it prior to filming it. With that out of the way, let's get into it. The first step is pre-production, and this is always super important to ensure your shoot runs as smoothly as possible. Now, I use a tool called Milanote to create my storyboards and shot lists. And here's what this one looked like. Now you can even see my shopping list of the items and props that I needed to source for this particular shoot. The second part of the pre-production is the motion control design. And this basically means pre-programming the robot to execute camera movement, timings, and external triggers, which I'll touch on a little bit later. Now, a lot of this is usually done after the scene is set. So let's get into the set design. What I wanted to do for this was to emulate a marble top counter. So I just wrapped one of my existing tabletops in a vinyl print and it looked pretty convincing after all was said and done. Now it was pretty easy to apply with the self adhesive backing, but a top tip for you, make sure that the surface is free from dust because I found this out the hard way. The machine came with these free capsules and even the milk frother was also part of the deal. So happy days for me. Next up was lighting the scene and whilst the overall lighting setup in terms of the mood and direction remained the same, a few tweaks had to be made to compensate between the high speed shots and the standard 24 frames images. If you look at the final shot, you can see how adding this tube light really lifted the scene to give it that extra spark. For the opening sequence, this was the visual engineering that went into making it possible. Now, I'll admit there were a few attempts at getting this right, and I realized when you add humans into the equation, that's when things go sideways. And that was me swearing. Anyhow, that was the high speed element of the production. The camera was then swapped on the robot and the new moves programmed. As I mentioned earlier, the lighting needed a few adjustments for the subsequent shots, and this is a pullback view of what the whole setup looked like. Quick cleanup with compressed air to get rid of any dust on the product, and it was time for the first pass. This shot would be just for inserting the capsule and I'm standing still here throughout the move so there's no unintended movement in the reflective surfaces. The second shot would be for the coffee being dispensed into the cup. Now each of these moves are exactly the same every single time and that's the beauty about motion control camera movements. The final shot would include a well choreographed and timed movements of human interaction and actions based on audible cues generated by that motion control software. So basically, a series of beeps. As part of the move, the system also controls what's in focus, based on your creative choice, of course. So we can see the focus moving from the frother at the back to the cup at the front. So let's have a quick look at the motion design inside of LensMaster, which is the robot control interface. These vertical lines are where I set my audible beeps and that way I know exactly when to remove the cup to make that pour. These diamond shaped graphics are called keyframes and they work much like your editing software. And you can set the camera positions as well as adjust your lens focus. You're also able to see a live graphical preview of your pre-programmed move in this window. Well, that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed that or at least found some value in it. Now, if you're looking for impactful visuals for your brand, get in touch and let's chat about how we can spice things up together. Catch you next time. Peace. The Lord Barista Coffee and Espresso System, a masterpiece in taste.